But this week we announced more. I've announced that I definitely go. Um, Kelvin Boy, Wallace, Cena, Strongman. There's a few more coming this week. Okay, so Adekule is the only international one. Any other one? Oh, yeah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that one for the day. Yeah. Oh, not for the day. That's the weekend rivals, you know. But it's because we, we want people to understand that the man of festivities is a kind of experience that when they've come to see, they can have trust that there's going to be a less experience. And then, you know, buy your tickets, don't lose guard. And then we'll make sure that we we'll, we'll give you one of the best experiences you would have this year. Mm. Now, how easy is it to come about these concerts or run these concerts? Because annually, people are expecting it. You also have to put it together, invite people to join you and all that. Tell us, is it that easy? You just pick up a phone and call your friend and say, look, I have my concert coming and come on and all that. No, it's not easy. <laughs> it's never easy organizing events in Ghana and trying to do it in, on a high caliber you know, but you have to be committed to it when the be, before each year begins after the manifestivities a day or two later we start thinking about the next one that's how it has to be until you raise a, an event to a caliber where it can run like a well-oiled machine you have to grind it out it's not easy so we're always grateful when we get supporters like Martel and others who understand the vision you know we're also going to announce Another major supporter for my festivities this year in a, in, a, in a few days, in a day or two. And it's just beautiful to have these collaborations that helps to elevate the thing because it's not easy. It's not easy, but it's the, the joy is in making it happen and that reward makes the sweat all worth it. Now, I've also noticed that almost everybody, almost all the musicians are having concerts and all that. You know, uh, people are saying that, okay, it, it helps build the brand and all that. But I don't know what you make of it. Is that, is that also another way to attract people to say, oh, look, we are doing something. Come put your money, invest in us. Yeah, I think the fact that that's happening, we need to understand the kind of um, commitment and dedication artists themselves are putting in trying to make things happen. Instead of sitting there and waiting for phone calls, coming up with ideas and executing. So I think I applaud that. The more should happen the whole year round, and it's a good thing. And just hopefully everybody is able to have their own unique experience, so they are not all the same, so that they all have, you know. And it also helps with building the base. The people who support you is almost like rewarding them with, with an experience that they are like, okay, this is why I support this person. They are able to put on, so it's a great thing. There's been a lot of talk around you and the Yawa No Day song and all yeah. that. People say, oh, you have a beef with Stone Boy, and that's like. I didn't put Kelvin Boy on. You know, Kelvin Boy has he approached me to work on some songs. We did it. The song is a beautiful song. Many people can relate to it in different aspects of their life. Yawa No Day. It is not a song that says Yawa Day. You know Day. But you know, I mean, I don't, I don't like over explaining songs. People can listen for themselves and see what it means. Mm. Yeah. So you don't have any issue with Stone Boy? No, I don't. Boy? We've recorded music. There's no issue.